Wait, I was crying. You don't have to start lifting hands. Okay, Wendy. Wendy? <laughs> I don't need to the dot now. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to Traveling Africa. Traveling Africa. Ta. 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 Hey. Hi. Ta. <laughs> okay. Do you want to explain okay. what we're doing today? Yeah. Uh, so as promised from the first episode, if you haven't watched the first episode, I'll put a tag. Uh, if not, it's fine, you can watch this one. <laughs> Dad, we're gonna give you traveling tips. And in true traveling African spirits, it's always the top three Bunk traveling three. tips <laughs> to Bali. Everything in general. But everything in general. Yeah. Your preparation, your end, you're there. You're... Yeah, this will apply to everything. Cool, number one. Uh, number one, don't be afraid of apps. Yes, apps rule the world. The world and the future. <laughs> in the perspective of traveling, tip number one and covering tip number one we'll talk about the apps we use to travel yes definitely starting with flights yes you can't get to the place we wish you could just catch a taxi or hitchhike beep, beep. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately you gotta fly to these places <laughs> yeah. flying to bali uh, there's many different apps that allow you to find cheap flights mm. Find one that suits you with the country that you're from. The, we use for our trip to Bali, uh, Skyscanner. Not paid for at all. This is no, not, paid not for. a paid for endorsement. Uh, but if you want to holler Skyscanner or anybody else who might be better than Skyscanner, holler at us. Skyscanner, uh, cheapflights.com, Expedia, uh, even booking.com. You can book flights there. Yeah, Skyscanner, you type in destination, when you want to go. Mm and it will give you a range of options and prices distance stopovers how, yeah like a whole bunch of different things all the things you need to consider yeah. so and with accommodation we use um booking.com yeah booking.com definitely a good platform to um to price check your your accommodation if i can say yeah. that so it's really good not and to just find accommodation yeah yeah it's so and um, it's good to price check your accommodation because you want to see what's out there and for how much and you just want that whole range and like all the different options out there so like four star five star six star two bedrooms yeah. one bedroom two bathrooms one bedroom. you want to be able to see the difference yeah the differences and what's out there yeah Okay. And it's based on your preference. Like all these apps <clears throat> that we're mentioning, you type in preferences. That's something you should, maybe we can teach you now. Is basically you need to go to the settings of most of these apps and go to the settings, and they'll ask you your preferences. I, I, I. Most people don't like doing this. They just go straight to the app and just type in whatever they want. Yeah. But these apps are smart. They computers with super fast brains that can calculate things much better than you do. So they probably know you better than you know yourself. One day the computers will take over the world. No, no. But <laughs> till then, we will take advantage of them. And then, which will bring us to the next app that we'd recommend, is the old faithful Instagram. Don't be afraid of Instagram. Dun, 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 Instagram. <laughs> Yes, I know there's love-hate relationships that most people have with Instagram, but mm -hmm. Instagram is friendly. It, if you use it properly, it's your friend. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's the best way to get a personal experience or personal view of people's experiences of the locations you're looking at. Live experiences as well. Exactly. Yeah. So you can see, like, based on their Insta stories, like, how is this place does it look cool does it look as cool as it looks in the pictures that i saw on the yeah, internet yeah. is it you know is it not what i thought it was <laughs> they can give you perspectives you could never get from just clicking on a, a website picture. Or, or a filter picture yeah so there's little things that you can pick up and what you do is don't be don't look at one look at many look multiple. at many use geotagging use the location mm -hmm. when you type in the location of the hotel just pick at least i would say like five five, five different people. people yeah five different people go into their feeds check out their experience they might have come across something on their holiday that you didn't know about that's not on the internet because the internet is not the only place where things exist unfortunately speaking about that brings us to tip number two <laughs> we're on tip number two be prepared <laughs> for anything yeah and 
the reason why we say be prepared is that you must understand that whatever you've got in your head and you think you're gonna do or what what you'd like to do in life is might not be the case when you get there yeah so you need to be prepared to be able to change and maneuver and 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 do what's necessary to make the best of your holiday is that you think you're gonna go to one beach because you've seen everyone at one beach really nice pictures yes new really nice pictures oh, and then you the get one. there and it's like packed yeah you <laughs> get full like with people a hundred thousand trillion and then you we ended up driving with our guide very important to use a good guide by the way so we ended up driving with our guide and then i just happened to look out the window and see like an empty part of the beach and we just stopped and we just ran yes. onto the beach just to enjoy a good sunset with nobody else there <laughs> insert picture part of being prepared was us having a guide yeah using a guide because what what we we thought we could have done on our own mm -mm. we clearly couldn't have because we would have been stuck on that beach because we would have been like okay we're here now oh no we hate this place what do we do <laughs> and then our guide showed us another place that just was a little better you know mm. by the way we'll give a reference to our guide shout out to putra having a guide is very important you can find one at the hotel you can find mm. one get off the flight yeah like but the best way to find one is tied to back number one is on an app by apps use the apps use the internet use read reviews read and reviews mm. and the people will recommend mm. other people part of this thing is also back to the thing of finding five different people the influencers that you find on instagram to find the right person because they might refer you to someone mm. that they trust or someone that's still there on the island doing certain things that can help you yeah and being prepared be prepared specifically for body body belly that's a real thing. Now explain Bali Belly. Because to me that just sounds like a happy stomach with good food in it. And it's not, apparently. I wish. I wish it was just good food. <laughs> so Bali Belly. Bali Belly is basically stomach pains. It's all, all kinds upset of different stomach. upset stomachs. Uh, so be prepared for that. Drink a lot of water. That's the first solution I can give you. A tip that I can give you from my side is body beer is not as hectic as we made it out to be or other people make it out to be you can deal with it if you drink a lot of water and you have medication if you're not a person like me you can just bounce back on your own <laughs> <laughs> don't let body belly get you down yeah uh, but whatever happens and this leads to tip number three always 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 enjoy yourself it's i think you don't pay that much money to travel to stress to fight to worry if you use your apps properly and you prepared you will have fun mm. because it's like yeah the first two essentially will give you or guarantee the third one if you use the first two properly cool so those are our top three uh, look out for another video we're going to give you another one which th which is more specific top places to visit yeah showcase <laughs> and I think that will wrap up the whole part yeah. yeah then on to the next destination but before that make sure you like subscribe share notification bell ring ring all of that jazz and hit us with the comments tell us like what else you'd like to know there's a whole lot of stuff we could have shared but where you'd like us to go oh where yeah where you'd like us to go mm. we'll give you the info and we'll give you the dirt and she'll give you the as good as an african too no apparently another african <laughs> okay bye bye oh